With our print trimmed out, there are just a couple of things we need to cover before we mount our face mount to our acrylic. We're going to work with a leader board. A leader board provides an area in which you can do your hinge technique. Your leader board should always be slightly wider than your sheet of acrylic and equal to or slightly less than the thickness of your acrylic sheet. My leader board is 5 inches or about 12.5 centimeters wide. Here's a small section of what I use for a leader board. You'll notice that it's set up like my sled with a 1 inch area of exposed clear acrylic and a double sided mounting adhesive with the release liner still in place. This will be real helpful as we move forward. We need to attach our leader board to our sheet of acrylic. To do this, I'll turn it over and place it firmly against the sheet of acrylic. I'll use some packing tape and tape it down so that it's nice and tight. I'll use my paint scraper and cut the tape loose. And then I want to take my squeegee and make sure that I have a nice tight bond here. We can then turn the sheet over. And now we can remove our pre-mask. To do this, I'll take my plastic tube and a small piece of packing tape, which I'll attach to the top of the pre-mask. I'll squeegee it down. This will let me get the corner started. I can then take the pre-mask and wrap it around my plastic tube. Make sure you don't pull off your pre-mask too fast. Doing so is only going to generate a lot more static electricity. The next step is to make sure that you clean the surface off with your DRS roller. I'm doing this because when we remove the paper pre-mask, you can end up with some paper dust on the surface of your acrylic. The last thing I want to do is take my flashlight and do a visual inspection running across the sheet to make sure that it's as clean as possible. Here I can see where I need to go over it one more time. Do this as many times as you feel necessary to make sure that your acrylic sheet is absolutely spotless. Now I've already cleaned off my digital print and I'm going to place it on top of my acrylic. Now we can actually look at how to align the digital print to our acrylic sheet. For this, I'm going to use my print alignment tool called the Tyler Ruler. Using our overhead camera, you can get a better view of how the Tyler Ruler works. This is the edge detector and it's indicated here by this black line in a pass-through area with two marks, one for an eighth inch overhang and one for a quarter inch overhang. So just slide your digital print past your acrylic, slip the Tyler Ruler in place and slide your digital print to the one quarter inch mark. Check this end here slide it to the one quarter inch mark. We'll do a quick check here, fine adjustment. Now this will become our rotation point and we can slide the Tyler ruler to the other end. Make a small adjustment and our print is now perfectly aligned with our acrylic. I'll use my high tech weight to help hold my print in place while I tape it down on the leading edge. With our digital print aligned to our sheet of acrylic and secured to our leaderboard here in the front, we can flip it over and squeegee down our hinge. I'll use a small piece of electrical tape just like before and I'll attach it to the release liner and with a slow upward motion I'll make sure that I'm pulling off just the release liner and I'll pull it back about two inches or half the distance of the white space here. I'll pull my electrical tape off, turn it over, tape it down. We'll push our print back onto our sheet of acrylic and we're ready to go to the laminator. All of my settings are exactly the same on the JM63 as when we pass our sled through the laminator. Now when you move your sheet of acrylic over to the laminator, make sure to support your leader board. I'll place it firmly in between the rollers and use the foot switch to jog the hinge up underneath the roller. Now we can get a nice tight wrap with our digital print by passing it over the top main roller. Again, I'm going to use my tube to actually tape the release liner to it so I can use it to wind it up. 
Now, this is the last chance that you're going to have to make sure that your board's clean. So I typically like to give it one last look with my flashlight and possibly run over it one more time with my DRS roller. Now we can start processing our print through the laminator. I'll press the foot switch and you can see here where I'm pressing down on the plastic tube to take up the release liner. I'll go ahead and put this machine in the auto run mode so that we can do this process just a little bit faster. And there we go. The first thing I'll do is turn our board over so that we can remove the tape that we use to tape our leaderboard to our sheet of acrylic. The next thing I want to do is take the leaderboard off. I'm going to lift up. Notice that I'm lifting up against the sheet of acrylic. This way we don't have to worry about pulling the print away from the acrylic sheet. I'll trim this edge right here. And then we're going to trim the quarter inch bleed that we have all the way around. When you're trimming your bleed, make sure you have a good hard table surface and a good sharp knife. Press down firmly so that you can make your cuts. You don't want to peel the face mount away from the acrylic. I'll make these other cuts and we'll take off our pre-mask. Now normally I would leave this pre-mask on because I have a couple more steps that I want to cover. But I couldn't wait just to show you how awesome this print looks. Absolutely awesome. Now depending on the size and the thickness of your acrylic sheet, you may want to provide a backer board to the back to provide some stiffness. Now to do this, I'm actually going to work with a material called dye bond. It's an aluminum composite and I've covered the entire surface of the material with dry tack sure tack white adhesive. And I want to show you an easy way to attach our backer board to our face mount. Especially helpful if you're working by yourself. The easiest way to align your die bond to your face mounted graphic is to use three clamps for three point registration. I'll take this long edge here and butt it up against my two clamps, sliding it to the left until it hits the third clamp. Now I can pull back some of the release liner and crease it along this edge here. I'll take my face mount print, lay it on the top, slide it down until it hits my two clamps here and to the left. Now it's in perfect registration. I'll tack down this leading edge right here remove this clamp and I'll use my heavier clamps to tack down or hold down this edge here. Now I can move to the back end or the bottom of the print. Reaching underneath I can grab the release liner pulling it back and tacking the face mount print lightly because I want to pass this through the laminator to get a nice tight bond. Now let's look at some really unique ways to hang our finished product on the wall. One of my favorite ways to display a face mount is to actually use some hardware called standoffs. Now to do this we're actually going to have to drill some holes in our acrylic sheet. So let's take a look at how that's done. Before we drill our holes I want to point out something that's really important. Most people use the wrong type of drill bit when they're drilling acrylic. Acrylic has a special bit. The point angle is at 60 degrees, whereas a common metal type bit is at 120 degrees. This is to keep it from busting out when it breaks through to the other side. Now, because I removed my pre-mask, I'm going to use some removable tape just to place on the corner so that I can mark where I want to drill my holes. And once I've done that, I'll slide this off the edge of the table and I'll go ahead and drill my hole. Now I am going to go slow and once I start to break through to the back side I'll reduce the speed of the drill bit and reduce the downward pressure. This will give me a cleaner hole. I'll drill these three other holes and then we can hang our face mount on the wall. I went ahead and installed three of the four standoffs and I want to cut to an up close shot 
so you can actually see how to install a standoff. After you've drilled your hole, take a plastic anchor and place it inside the hole and make it flush with the wall surface. Take your screw, place it through the barrel of the standoff. And then I'm going to use my cordless drill to actually screw the screw into the plastic anchor, securing the barrel of the standoff. Now we can attach our face mount using the cap screw here. Our last step is to attach the face mount to the standoffs using the cap screw. Place it through your acrylic sheet and line it up to the barrel screw. Screw it in place and make sure not to over tighten your cap screws. Doing so will keep the acrylic sheet from being able to expand and contract when it has sees different temperature changes. Also make sure that you drill your holes slightly oversized. This way the acrylic sheet can expand and contract and it won't bow or bend when it's displayed on the wall. I have to tell you there's no better way to display a digital print or a photograph than doing a face mount. Well, that's a wrap, and it's been a lot of fun. And I'd like to thank everyone at DryTech for giving me the opportunity to share some of my knowledge about their incredible product, Face Mount.